Muggeridge and a TV crew were making a documentary on Mother Teresa. They wanted to film her and her sisters in the actual place where they worked with the dying, but they had a problem. It was quite dark and there was insufficient light for filming. They had no proper artificial light either, but they decided to proceed anyhow, dark and all as it was. To their surprise, the film turned out beautiful and the light was just perfect. It was a sort of mysterious warm afterglow that was surprisingly bright. Muggeridge, who was not a Christian at the time, was absolutely convinced that the light came from the love emanating from Mother Teresa and her co-workers in the home. Remember the story in the Gospel when Mary Magdalene anointed the feet of Jesus with very expensive ointment in the house of Simon the Pharisee to his obvious displeasure. The scripture tells us that the whole room was filled with the scent of the perfume. Now if we love Jesus like Mary did, the fragrance of our love will circulate widely as well. One of the prayers of Blessed John Newman was this. Dear Jesus, help me to spread your fragrance everywhere I go. Flood my soul with your spirit and light. The love of God brings light and warmth into every situation if we want it. Just like the sun's rays warm the earth, so the light of God's love will warm our stony hearts if we let it. We can always shield ourselves from the sun and live in a house where the drapes are drawn continually. Instead of receding into the darkness, Jesus wants us to be his closest friends and not allow the powers of darkness to deceive us into thinking that God doesn't care about us or that his love is an illusion. When St. Teresa lay dying, she heard a mocking voice which insisted that God had deserted her and there was no afterlife. Jesus doesn't want us to be just fair weather friends, but stand by him in good times and bad as he stands by us. The only way we remain in the light of his love is by obeying his word, but he does not withdraw his, lo withdraw his love from us even when we behave selfishly, just like the sun does not cease to shine when the sky becomes overcast. But by keeping his commandments and responding to his love, we become his true disciples and his true friends. As his disciples, we can't but love one another as he told us to. What did Adam and Eve do when they sinned? They hid from God among the trees of the Garden of Eden because they couldn't face him. When people say they don't believe in God, it may just be that they can't face God because they have elected to stay in the dark. It's easier to deaden the voice of God coming through our conscience than to come out into the light. The sun sometimes disappears behind the clouds. It may sometimes appear that Jesus has sidelined us and is not our friend anymore, as when he ignored the Canaanites woman in the gospel, but she persisted in her request and she got what she wanted. Our genuine friendship with him will not be easily blown off course either. And that you can bank on. Thank you for listening and God bless you all. Oh.